Hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel today. More of The Wire Season 1, Episode 5, The Pager. Now, thoughts on the previous episode or on the back half of there? I definitely jumped the gun on connecting characters, connecting dots, blurring people together, trying to, you know, get excited about shit. That was not there, so for that, I apologize. I will, uh, you know, try to approach things with more... <laughs> a, a slower roll, a more fine-tuned, you know, look and listen at what the characters were saying. Like, like, a comment had to guide me in on what the fuck scene was. I'm like, what do you mean, fuck scene? It, th that's all they said for the whole scene. I don't know why that was lost on me. Like, I know I was speaking, I know I said some things during that, but the whole sequence of just different fucks, motherfucks, it's, it's such a versatile word, and there have been videos on that before, but I don't know, maybe it's because of military service or what, it didn't strike me as odd that you know the f-bombs were coming out left and right i mean i don't i don't censor myself when i speak on here you know whatever happens happens i don't censor the material you know that the people made i feel like for me to you know try to drop f-bombs to ooh copyright or, or it's not copyright people drop the f-bombs for money they they censor out the original thing the original you know I don't like to use the word art, but the original product. I don't like that word either. The original production. I mean, that's that's like another reason why I haven't done Patreon or anything. I don't feel like it's right to be... It's, it's almost predatory in nature to be using someone else's material and be like, Oh, look, I've got perspective. Give me money. I'm so fucking friendly and amicable. <laughs> it's like, I feel like that's what a lot of other channels are doing. So I've been, you know, trying not to do that. So that's why I don't censor myself, my language or anything, because I don't censor what the show is doing. So why would I control myself? Uh, it looks like ad blockers are starting to get defeated on YouTube. So while I've used them in the past, you know, if it's getting phased out, it may just have to be a thing where one day they're all gone and we're just all watching fucking commercials and it's TV again. I'm off on a tangent. What I'm trying to say is, you know, I thank you all for being here so far, thus far, and moving forward. But you're here of your own accord. I never ask anyone to subscribe. I never ask anyone to pay for anything. And I never feel the need to mute, stifle, or suppress the original, you know, presentation. The art. The entertainment that we're being presented. Also, the audio levels should be better on this episode, this video. I was in a rush to get that one out for Friday and didn't spend enough time on it, and that's what we get, so... Lesson learned. All right, I don't really have that much to say about the last episode. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed editing it, and uh, I muted myself in a few places, got to hear some more information. I've got a little caffeine, not too much. I don't want to get too hyper again. A little caffeine. We're going to ease into this, see what The Wire has to offer. This is Season 1, Episode 5, The Pager. Here we go. Classic mirror shop. Who's that? They hung up without saying. They hung up without saying. But you can You never use a damn phone in here, no how. That is a, a warning call? I'm gonna need you to get them phone lines about the house. Out the apartment? Why? I'm saying, what's I they gonna say about not having a line in our own place? Alright. <laughs> oh, does he suspect the spoof or something? Nah, I won't use his phone. He used his phone yesterday. What you blowing out your mouth for, man? You act like I ain't got... Ain't nobody out to get me, man? I don't got no motherfucking... Anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he's suspicious of the payphone. So, yeah. A little slow, a little late. Avon Barksdale. All right, this gonna be so easy. Don't these side chumps they ain't nothing like Avon's people. Where you gonna be at? <laughs> That'd be the trap right there, Holmes. Danger. <laughs> nah, man, I'm just a nigga with a plan at all. Or the shotgun. They're gonna corral somebody and editing it'll make more sense, but they're definitely setting a trap for somebody. You know, these side chumps ain't nothing like Avon's people. So. Spoken like a true troglodyte. A whole lot of dead trees behind this nonsense. Confirm that the affidavit is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? I do. I do. And by the power vested in me, I now declare you man and wife. And let the game begin. What's up, man? 
right, yo. He just walk in with the shotgun in broad daylight. Mm. Yeah. The cheese stands alone. I wonder if they just jacked them and they stole their shit, or if they're like fucking killed them or what. Easy to see why niggas come around here stealing our shit. Yo, you know what? You know what, nigga? What? Yeah, they. I, I cut it out of a few episodes, but they've been back and forth a few times. Like when he was in juvie. He said, if, he said, if it was you, D, you'd still be there. <laughs> Spy shit. Very cool. You say they're using some kind of code? Yeah, they gotta be. These numbers don't make no fucking sense. You rang? Omar's ride. Bubbles spotted it, but Bubs makes it by the cargo rack on the roof. Good scope. Oh, I'm just, how y'all do what y'all do every day and not want to get high? I mean, that's what I be asking. <laughs> String, man, I can't lie. Them sticker boys, they caught us dead up. And the knockers, I don't know what the fuck that was. Yeah, n knockers are what they called the cops when they did that raid and hit the wrong stash house. Your uncle and me, we think you got a snitch up in the shop. What? Someone who tips off the stick up crew. And you gotta be on that, right? Some of the boys thought it last episode too, but he was saying it's just as easy to be spied on, and that's true. Omar's been watching them. What you gonna do? You gonna call them like you gonna pay them? And then you crack them. You tell them you're not happy with what they fucking pass as work down here, and when you're not happy, they ain't getting paid. You feel me? They they gonna buck a little, but uh, they not gonna walk. But that nigga that stay eating, the nigga that steady rolling, ain't asking you for shit. That's the nigga I wanna hear about. Yeah, so who in the crew is gonna be, you know, the up and coming, and who's gonna be struggler? What's happening? What the fuck is that? You know the fucking rules? What the fuck are you doing? Copying. The telephone. I used to have a guy like Omar working for me. A guy named Ruben Terry. Is it good? Saw the street light. We wish we could. Sheets, pillows, comforters, pillowcase. I fucking got them. <laughs> Color? What the fuck do you care what color they are? <laughs> Hello? Did he get him? Or was she testing him? And a man like that, not me, but a man like that, he just might call her a cunt. <laughs> you just called the mother of your children a cunt. No, I did no, not call her. I'm, I, I'm presenting a scenario in which we're talking about... It. Still dragging from the whooping Kima put on it. Fucked you up like a cop should. Oh, they finally caught up with him, right? You don't want your business card back, right? Mm. Oh, so she gave it to him. Mm -hmm. Little Jameson, what's he drinking? Play nice. Then you come in, play bad. They ain't gonna be playing. <laughs> like everyone doesn't know good cop, bad cop. I'm 16. Alright, what the fuck they gonna do to me? I got a partner outside who can't wait to get in here and fuck you up. Cop you banged, it's Herc's uncle. You should work something out. I want for you to suck my dick. You're supposed to be the good cop, dumb motherfucker. Hello, may I help you? Yeah, would you like a table? Do you have reservations? Was that double door at the fucking counter drinking something? The waiter will be with you shortly. Should have pushed him, D. Oh no! Trying to do some last-minute furniture fucking assembly while you're drinking. Not gonna happen. No! Stop it! You missed the eight o'clock. You got another one around midnight. Hemorrhoid. Like your dinner? Yeah. The shrimp was right. D, we the only black people in here? It ain't about that. It ain't what I'm talking about. It's about where we... 
Boy, don't nobody give a damn about you and your story. You got money, you get to be whatever you say you are. That's the way it is. Of course, you might be all that when it comes to thumping on niggas, but you can't do shit with that stick, man. Or oh, you do better. Check yeah, it out. you get him uncuffed and you get something in his hands. You holler at the boy Scar. Let him know, man, it's time for him to take a stroll. If he give you any beef at all, we're going to put Wee Bear and Bird on it. Mm -hmm. If you think there's some cats in there who got game, then we put them on our team. Mm -hmm. Who do you want to run it? Just think I'm up here. Can't let your duty officer see that. You want to give it a rest, man? You're down 60. If I had more time, I'd run you. They gave him a chance, though. They let him play. Give you a tip, Preston. You want to run a hustle? Let's stay with what you know. But that sandwich was good. <laughs> you gonna move our little thing down to Emerson Avenue. Take the gully. What about um Scott? So you gonna put out the strong product. You gonna get the locals behind it. It's just simple as that. It's wild, man, because like you see the drug dealing or the stuff on the corner or the street level, but Ah, it's we bay. Got one. Oh, you think it's Omar? Nah, 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 nah. It's one of the youngins. I think. Damn, motherfuckers. He's trying to rob me, baby. A winner. Ah, uh, a match? Casings from all three killings go to a 45, probably cult classic. Oh, that fucking last man. How's he do it? Is that his friend that was in the hospital all fucked up, stomped out? I, I thought his friend was a blonde kid. <laughs> Comes in a bag, goes out in a bag. Yeah, what are these for, huh? <laughs> yeah, I got the bug. Is that slang for AIDS of the time? HIV? Is that what this is? The police on the air. No, I'm not working for him. I'm working with him. They don't give me the bad soon enough, I keep doing like I do. <laughs> Deputy Bubbles. They're gonna ask me why. Why the fuck are you in here, man, with all these falling out motherfuckers? Why they beat you down? Why I couldn't do nothing about it? I'll be getting out of here at the end of the month. It's got the best package now. <laughs> I'm coming home, right? Hey, McNulty. There's something here that needs kissing. Yeah, speak again, oh toothless one. I guess you know. Good call, Jay. Of course, Achille hadn't fucked the scene up. You'd have had that casing months ago, right? May I ask you a question that is essential to your career? What? Who do you serve? The public trust, the city of Baltimore. Here's the deal. You wrap up this thing with narcotics in two weeks. You put yourself back in the rotation when we go back to night work. You do that, and you're back in the fold. You know, me and Pooh, we be steady working, and you know. So Do we get paid? Payday, cause you know, right now we some broke ass niggas, man. This is the plan that he put them on. I did get a fresh number on Tawanda. Who? You know, the girl who. Called on the phone number. slip, yeah, yeah, phone call from Tawanda. I kept that scene in because I thought it was gonna come back. John Bailey in a Kevlar vest, lit up by three separate shooters. Uh, Cary Street. Yeah. Damn. Yes, yeah, so you made the connection with Crescent. What took you so long? Well, you might have heard we get a few murders here in Baltimore. Body more murder land, or so it's he called. Pissed. She said she had to go. He was at the door. That was the last time you spoke with her? Yeah, she was killed that night. And the boyfriend, Avon Barksdale? You know Avon. Everybody knows Avon, right? Anyway, she started bitching on him one minute, crying to him next minute, threatening to do all kinds of things. One time, she threatened to write a letter on him. Mm. A letter? Letter to the state's attorney. She even had it out with him in his club one night for all the people that were there. Well, everyone has a club? How can you run this place and not just OD on pussy? <laughs> <laughs> you try dealing with all these bitches and they problems for a few days. <laughs> so you Man, my uncle still got me working on salary. Damn, boy. You ain't the only one your uncle keeps close. I'm just a front. A clean name for the liquor board. Mm -hmm. I'm saying... Hey, what you doing, front? I saw her. I saw her alive and well back there. I'll open up fresh territory. Take over the corners down there, Edmondson and Bryce. So my uncle gave that to stink. Orlando! Figured you knew. 
I've been sitting here with you for an hour and a half buying drinks. Look, come on, man, this ain't right. I just spent $120 in drinks. The way this guy was going on and D was just coasting up the stairs behind him, I thought he was going to do some off-camera shit to him. No, I didn't take his money. Look at you alive and well, just like I thought. I never said anything contrary to that. Can I see you sometime? Like, you know, not in here? I don't usually see men that I'm even here. Usually. All right, I was a ball was in her court because he was like, okay, 180 data there. No simp, no begging, no pleading, no working, just all right. He's got the club, he's got the warehouse, he's got the apartment building by Druid Hill Lake, he's got the tow truck company. And that's just what she knew from what he bragged about of the dead girl. John Bailey, he's a stick-up artist I used to know from the Murphy homes. He's found wearing Kevlar, but it didn't help. 39 casings on the scene from three different guns. Fuck. Overkill for a burn bag. Oh. <laughs> about right if he was running with Omar. They ain't like him to be late. I haven't looked it up yet, but the, the baby boy that Omar keeps talking to reminds me of the dude from Road Trip, I think it was. You, you always got to talk like that, man. F this and F that. Well, nobody want to hear them dirty words, man. Kathy Bates over here. Early bird catch the worm, dog. I like to turn that phrase, that the early worm gets birded. It would have worked if you knew the code. Oh? <clears throat> Sitting around all this fucking time, you finally done something? Jump it over the five. You get three. Jump the one over the five. You get nine. With four, you get six. The opposite three, game. Okay. And it works because it's all about where the buttons are on a phone. If it was a code that involved math, or algebra or whatever. It's just a visual you thing, just a pattern. Okay. But with this, all you gotta do is jump the five button. <laughs> Ain't no math to it, it's just how the phone looks when you look at it. Press, you little genius. <laughs> Fucking on the lips. Yeah, but just don't give him a gun, because he doesn't know. <laughs> we can't trust him. Your mother keep bragging at me to take him out of here and put him in a private nursing home. I keep telling him, man, hey, we can't show this legit money yet, man. Especially since he ain't got no insurance. Just talking in front of people. I know where they are, but shit. It could be a Hector Salabanca rolling around in here. You don't know who the fuck is it. You about to see your uncle. You understand me? This family. No. Family is what count. Family is what it's about. His girlfriend said, didn't your uncle look different? And they've been calling him Uncle Avon, but now he's saying you're going to meet your uncle. So is this... Live the life, leave the life. Ain't no big thing. He used to talk that shit all the time, and he believed it. You know what I'm saying? What's up, baby? Talk that shit now. The thing is, you only got to fuck up once. Be a little slow. Be a little late. Just once. Inevitability. I'm yeah. the fire in which we burn. It scares me. You still getting your boys? Yeah. Tonight for a sleepover. There they go. Well, what the hell? Call for backup? Not yet. Fucking guns already drawn, that's crazy. Afternoon, gentlemen. Saying if he's going to use that, you'd have been done using it by now. We're pulling you up because we've got a problem in common. Problem? Barksdale. Mm -hmm. uh, he ain't no problem. I don't know. <laughs> Avon's been chalking up a lot of bodies. You being you. Put it that way, I guess he could be a little problem. But uh, <laughs> I used to work the homes. Back when your brother was up there. I think your snitch can handle that. Shit, bubbles no bird. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Omar knows some shit. I don't know why I never thought about police using a gang, cooperating, or an organization to, to target or infiltrate or get into Barksdale, you know, the bigger problem. I'm 
here now. I gotta say a piece. We should have had a tap at the Project Payphones by now. Now, I know you're serious about climbing that career ladder, and I know how slippery it gets the higher you go. I don't want to go to no dance unless I can rub some tit. <laughs> Appreciate your honesty. Hey, it's put together. Who did he pay to do that? And where are the kids? Uh oh. That's who. Jumping the five. There it is. Yeah. That dial up. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see it till the very end. It was emergency, emergency, versus a triple flag. Died one one. So you want us to wait? Yeah. All right, we on one. All right. The big bounty though is out for uh, Omar. It's not out for. Oh no, no. He said his bucks, his boys. So yeah, there there is a bounty out for the everyone else on his crew. But Avon wanted more to holler at uh, Omar first. My people gonna want Omar's boys down the Greeks. Over. I should tell you. Yo, he's still in there? Yeah, he in there playing the games. All right, you shop some, what's your name? Wallace. Wallace? All right, this nigga gonna point him out to us, all right? I thought they were gonna end on the phone close up. I was like, nah, I feel like there's more to this episode. <laughs> Please. Oh, yeah, 10 seconds more to this episode. Fuck me, guys. <laughs> All right, to the outro. Season 1, Episode 5, The Pager, McNulty's detail finally gets clone pagers to track Barksdale and his gang, but nobody can crack the codes used by the callers. Okay. I don't think it's fair to say that nobody can crack the code when in the same episode, the code is cracked by arguably one of the most useless and dangerous people on the team. Even Daniel said, if the building catches on fire, Bruce Bluesky stays here. <laughs> I don't know why I saw Omar as just competition to Barksdale and not a potential ally to the, to the police. I don't know why I didn't think that before. But I really enjoyed their meeting at the graveyard. Like, that seemed like... I don't know how to describe it. It felt like, not before a battle, like when the commanders come out and talk, but it just... it, it, it was... It was like game acknowledging game right away because it was like you got your gun drawn, you would have used it by now, and they had it drawn because they knew who he was. Like the 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 reputation, the re respect almost was uh was there, and uh e even the respect between Herc and uh, Father Gabriel, <laughs> I still don't know his name in this show. Uh, towards um the other kid whose name I I forgot. Uh, but they played pool with him, they took the cuffs off, even though they've stomped him out, they've roughed him up. Like, I feel like if you go up to a person and tell them to suck your dick or, or fuck you asshole, like, I, you should expect violence or to get stomped out. But for, for him to insult police and then to get the shit beat out of him, <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe that's just been my experience, but it, or it hasn't been my experience, rather. But when he decked the one cop, you know, it, it made sense for them to come down on him and, and, and you know, react. That one makes more sense than just, <laughs> he said, bad, bad word disrespected me, raw or angry. <laughs> I really like the chess analogy they made a few episodes back. You know, the, the king is like uh, Avon and the go get shit done piece of Stringer. <laughs> I really like that. And, and you see that in action here. As of right now, I don't know who they visited in the hospital. I, I mean, I, I, I might look it up afterwards just to confirm. It lines up to me with Dee's girlfriend earlier thinking that the uncle looked different. Because she said, doesn't your uncle look different? And Stringer came out, and that's why I got Stringer and Avon mixed up. The other thing, too, when McNulty brought up Omar's brother, and then in turn he brought up Bubbles, like as the snitch. So it's, it's like, okay, yeah, you know some shit. I know some shit. <laughs> Anyways, this is going to do it for me for now. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope this one is a little more coherent, accurate, and uh, not as much as a disastrous mess as the previous episode.
volume levels included. But either way, that's going to do it for me for now. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm looking forward to episode 6, but it will be another day. Thanks again, and goodbye.